Today I want to walk you through the basics of how to use a radio in the helicopter. I'm going to be showing you how to use actually turn the knobs, how to switch the frequencies in this one, and uh, how to actually go in and out of the control zone, what frequencies to be able to use. This will apply to any airport around the world, but today we're going to be using Abbotsford specifically. So if you're going to be flying in and out of here, this is definitely going to be a big help for you. Let's get in the helicopter and check out how it works. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you how to actually use the knobs. Um, there's a big knob here and a small knob. So the big knob is actually going to be um, changing the frequency before the decimal place. So on the standby, this is the standby frequency. You can see here, I can uh, dial up different frequencies there. And then on the small knob, that's going to be the numbers after the decimal place. Okay. Now, when we are wanting to leave the, the airport here, so I'm sitting in front of BC Helicopters right now. If I want to leave here, the first thing I have to do, the first step, is to listen to ATIS. So I'm going to dial up 119er decimal 8 for ATIS. The so 119er decimal 8. And I'd like to listen through ATIS with you guys, 119er decimal 8. And uh, so you guys can have a listen through what it sounds like. Form ATC that you have information Lima. Abbotsford Airport, information Lima, weather at 2300 Zulu, wind 210 at 12, visibility 20, few clouds at 4500, few clouds. Okay, so when you're listening to ATIS, you want to be thinking of three things, okay? We need to listen for the letter, so um, it's Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, whatever, whatever happens to be. We want to listen for the wind, and then we want to listen for the altimeter setting. So 2980 on the altimeter, we can set that here, we push this button, 2980, and then we can set it here as well, 2980, right there. Okay guys, so we've listened to ATIS now, we've got all the information that we need, now we want to switch over to ground frequency. Ground frequency in Abbotsford is 121. So let me show you right here, uh, 121 decimal 8. So we can turn to 121 decimal 8, and then we'll switch that guy over. The top frequency is the one that's actually in use, and so we are ready with ground. Now I'm going to dial up uh, tower frequency on the backup, just so that we have it. Tower frequency is 119er decimal 4. So I'm going to just switch that as well. And the way we set this is, so 121 decimal 8 is the use frequency, 119 or decimal 4 is our backup. We can switch to that when we're ready, okay? So let's go ahead with an initial call to Abbotsford Ground. So this is one important thing when you're doing radio calls. Um, you have to make sure that you wait for the radio to actually be quiet and that nobody's actually talking. So I'm going to click the mic here, um, I'll show you on cams. This is the button that you push here. If you want to talk to the tower, you just push that all the way down. So I'm going to do my call here now. Out of the ground, it's helicopter Cabri G2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo with Lima. Helicopter Cabri G2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo, out of the ground. Today, Uniform Tango Echo is on the ground at BC Helicopters requesting a northwest departure. Uniform Tango Echo, wind 19015, altimeter 2982. Find the northwest route departure, contact tower on 119.4, squawk 2417. Squawk 2417, contact tower 119 or decimal 4 when you're ready. Okay, so we are up in the hover now, we are ready to go. We're on 119 or decimal 4, I'm going to call for departure. Officer Tower, it's helicopter, Uniform Tango Echo, ready for departure. Uniform Tango Echo Tower, roger, wind 190 at 13, lift off, BC helicopters directly northbound. Okay, you clear directly northbound from BC helicopters, Uniform Tango Echo. Okay, so that's a, a great call right there. They uh, didn't give us clearance across the runway like we were looking for. He said directly northbound. So we're going to start out with that, and then uh, from there we're going to get our further clearance. I'm going to turn left. Yeah, we're going to turn left from here. So we're coming out over this white building. We do a left-hand turn out. Okay, perfect. So our northwest route... Uniform Tango Echo, traffic Cessna 172, mile final runway 19er at 700 feet descending, advise traffic and same. That traffic is in sight for Uniform Tango Echo. Uniform Tango Echo, roger. Arrange flight behind the Cessna when safe. Northwest on turns approved. Okay, arrange a flight behind the Cessna and out the northwest route is approved for Uniform Tango Echo. Okay, that's great. So we're going to have clearance now behind that traffic and then uh, we can pick up the northwest route. So we're going to turn left. Here's the freeway here in front of us. And now that we're past that traffic, 
we can pick up our Mount Lehman Road. Uh, we're coming past Mount Lehman Road here. That's Mount Lehman Interchange. Uh, we're going to pick up Mount Lehman Road to head out the Northwest Helicopter Route. How's this now? Okay, so this long barn right here is the edge of the control zone of the Northwest Route. So once the radio is quiet, I'm going to call them and ask to clear their zone to the Northwest. Avenger Tower, helicopter uniform, Tango Echo is clear to the Northwest. Houston Tango Echo, traffic 10 o'clock, 2 miles, orbiting Cessna 2100, unverified, surveillance, terminated, change runner. Traffic in sight for uniform Tango Echo. Okay. Okay. So now we would switch to on route frequency. In this case, we are west of the Mission Bridge. So it's 122.72. All right, guys, so we want to come back into the Abbotsford control zone now. We need to listen to ATIS again. Um, so let's switch on over. Frequency for that is 119.8. Altimeter 2980. 2980. And visual, runway 07. Landing and departures, runway We need to get the wind niner. and what information Arriving it is. Arriving and transiting aircraft, contact tower on 121 zero. Tower drop, 5 north, Abbotsford Airport. Now they're saying 121 zero is the frequency to use. Lima. It's information Lima, so that hasn't changed. Abbotsford Airport, information Lima. Weather at 2300 Zulu, wind 210 at 12, visibility 20. Okay, so now I'm on 121.0. I'm going to put 19.4 in the backup just so we have that. Excellent. And we're just right here by Matsqui Island. So I'm going to formulate our first call and uh, let them know. Avenger Tower, good day. It's helicopter. Cabra G2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo with Lima. Average E2, Golf Uniform Tango Echo, Average Retire. Good day, Uniform Tango Echo is six miles northwest at 1,000 feet, like to be inbound for BC helicopters. Uniform Tango Echo Tower, squawk it in. Wind 180 at 11 gusting 16, altimeter 2983, cleared inbound by the northwest route. Uniform Tango Echo, squawk it in. Okay, 2983 was the change of altimeter setting. 2983. And Hotel Q, he asked me to squawk ident, which is this button right here. You can see it says ident on our transponder. So what's happening now is we're actually flashing up on his radar screen. Uniform Tango Echo Tower identified. Uniform Tango Echo. So then he calls us back and says that we're identified. That means he can actually see us on his radar. So that's perfect. The next call we're going to do, he said, report Mount Lehman. So when we get into the Mount Lehman interchange right by the number one freeway, that's where we're going to be doing our last checkpoint before he gives us clearance to land. Uniform Tango Echo Tower, change to 1194, report Mount Lehman. Uniform Tango Echo, switch to Inner Tower. Bravo, Zulu, Quebec. Okay, Easter perfect. Day, so we're going to swap over. One. We had that ready to go. So we're on 119 or decimal 4 now. And then he gave us a reminder again to switch or to contact at Mount Lehman. Okay, so when we're coming in here, there's three main options that they could give us. Um, different clearances depending on what the traffic is doing. That's our Uniform Tango Echo is just coming up on Mount Lehman. Uniform Tango Echo Tower, continue direct to tower, not below 1,000 feet. Hey, continue direct to the control tower, not below 1,000 feet for Uniform Tango Echo. Okay, so he wants to head dire directly to the control tower, not below 1,000 feet. Uniform Tango Echo Tower, traffic 10 o'clock, mile and a half, set on left base, runway 19. They're over the highway at 900, report the traffic in sight. I have that traffic in sight for Uniform Tango Echo. Here from Tango Echo Tower, turn left, follow the highway eastbound through the approach runway 19, then land BC helicopters, your discretion, wind 190 at 12. Okay, turn left, follow the freeway till I'm through the approach to runway 19, behind that traffic, and then land at BC helicopters, our discretion. Here from Tango Echo Tower, across runway 19, over the threshold, wind 190 at 12, land BC helicopters, your discretion. Put across uh, runway 19, over the threshold, you from Tango Echo. Hotel Kilo Juliet, turn base. Okay. So uh, we can go in. We're going to cross the threshold here, which is right at the beginning of the runway. And in we go. So now coming into BC helicopters here, the winds are to the south today. So we're going to take it out and around over the lake, and then we're going to come into the side of BC helicopters. That way we're going to be facing pretty much to the south when we come in for landing. Okay, so you can see the lake there now. This is a nice open path here right over this field. And then we take it through the gap right into our hangar. 
And just like this, you can see our hangar right there, the windsock. So we're just facing nicely into the wind now. So Cam's gonna finish this off, bring us in. Um, let's just review those three different approaches. So we have the first one, which is over um, the control tower. So um, they'll say three different things. They'll say either over the control tower, over midfield, or over taxiway Bravo. All three of those things are in the same location. And they'll get t typically give you an altitude restriction. Sometimes it's not below 800 feet. Sometimes it's not below 1,000 feet. Uh, so it just depends on what uh, kind of traffic they have in the way. Um, that's typically due to a traffic that they have on final that they want to allow to do a touch and go or a full stop at the airport. And so because of that, they're going to put us over the midfield, which is the safe um, part of the runway, and give us that altitude restriction. The other one that they gave us was uh, turn left and follow the freeway until we're through the approach to runway 19, and then we can come in to land at BC helicopters. That's um, in the scenario that you saw today. That's when there's traffic on final and they want to be able to put us behind that traffic and then come in for landing, which is great. And then uh, the last one is when they don't really have any specific um, uh, restrictions for us. They, in this case, they actually put us over the threshold. Sometimes they will just say clear to cross runway 19. If they say specifically the threshold, that's right at the beginning of the runway. You want to make sure you cross at that specific location. Um, other options that they could, or variations of that, they could say clear through the approach to runway 19. That would just mean um, and they don't want you over the runway, they want you on the approach. And then the other possible one is north of the threshold. So clear across the approach to runway 19, uh, north of the threshold. That would be specific, probably because they're going to be lining a airplane up on the runway. So they're going to have the airplane at the threshold taking off on the runway. And they want us behind him over the uh, the approach. So those are pretty much the, all the different options you could get. We have a east route of arrival as well, but that one's very simple. We don't have a runway to cross, so we're not going to go over that one today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer them for you. But you can use this technique pretty much, like I say, for any airport. There's variations of it, um, but pretty much any airport around the world. And I guess I would know because I flew around the world. So <laughs> we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.